J.J. has been traded to the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Miami Dolphins will receive a fourth-round pick. Now, a fourth-round pick might seem a little bit low for a player that reached the Pro Bowl in 2016. However, his 2017 campaign isn't that impressive so far. And not only that, his 2016 a Pro Bowl run wasn't that impressive either. Yes, he had the 1,200-yard rushing. Yes, he had the three 200-yard games. However, when you look at his the 12 games that he really played in, he technically played in 15 games, but the games where he was a feature back, he only played in 12 where he was the feature back. And in three of those, he ran for 600 yards. Well, in his other nine games, he didn't even reach 600 yards. He missed 600 yards. He actually ran for 573 yards in the nine other games where he was the feature back. And not only that, he only had 100, 157 attempts. So that's 3.6 yards per carry. So that's without the 200 yards games in there. So when you look at that, he's a scrub killer. If you can't tackle, J.J. can run all over you. And one thing for sure about it is he's going to be in a backfield with LeGarrette Blunt, a running back that I've been critical on. I consider him overrated. Click in the link in the description if you're interested. But now they have two overrated backs in Philadelphia. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Obviously, LeGarrette Blunt has been working out for him. He might reach to 1,000 yards with the Philadelphia Eagles, somewhere between 900 and 1,000. I'm predicting with him. And he has been considered a very elusive back. And J.D. Jai is a radical version of LeGarrette Blunt. And the reason why I say that is because LeGarrette Blunt, he's a little bit more consistent than Jay Ajayi, but Jay Ajayi will more can have a really, really big game every now and then. But then he LeGarrette Blunt wouldn't have as big a game. Like I don't think LeGarrette Blunt has ever ran for 200 yards in a game. He might have been close, but Jay Ajayi, he if you're if you're the matchup is right, Jay Ajayi will really, really go off of you versus LeGarrette Blunt will just go off of you. That's a difference right there. Uh, Jay Ajayi, he takes Scrub Killer to another level. Blunt's more consistent, but Jay Ajayi will be more exciting. But both are fairly exciting. Both are pretty similar to each other, not going to lie. And this this will help because the Eagles obviously lost Darren Sproles right here. And I definitely think Sproles is a very good running back, a very underrated running back that not a lot of people appreciate. Obviously, Jay Jai and Darren Sproles play in two different um, uh, fashions. Obviously, Darren Sproles is more of a scat back. Jay Jai has a little bit more uh, thunder to him. But I think Ajayi will work in Philadelphia because similar to LeGarrette Blunt, they're going to need blocking right there. And the Philadelphia Eagles have one of the best old lines in the game. Obviously, you have Lane Johnson over there. Obviously, Jason Peters, when he's on the field, he's obviously one of the best left tackles in the game. So when you put all that in perspective, the running game should do just quite fine back there. And obviously, when you look at the Dolphins, I, I feel like a fourth-round pick is very serviceable for Jay Ajayi. Nothing, nothing too big. I, I don't think Ajayi's worth um, really more than that. I think... The Dolphins really nailed it right there. And the Dolphins blocking has been a little bit of a concern this season. Obviously, the Jets pass rush ate them up. Now, the Jets do have talent on their D-line, but it's not really a premier pass rush. Obviously, in 2016, I believe they only had like 22 sacks. And six of those sacks came against the Bengals. Ouch. But when you put that in perspective, overall, this should be a good trade for the Eagles. Even though he might not be a Pro Bowl caliber back, with them. He might not go off as he was in 2016. He still is going to play some service right there. You might have a great run in the playoffs, Philadelphia. Who knows? But what do you guys think? Comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. And not only that, I reported some big news yesterday. Obviously, the trade deadline's coming up. You might see me on later on today if you're watching it today on Halloween and all that because trade deadline. And I've reported about Dwayne Brown being traded to the Seahawks and reported about Jimmy Garoppolo being traded to the San Francisco 49ers. I talked that. Click down the links down below. I've also made some other overrated videos. I made a video why LeGarrette Blunt is overrated. I also made a video on why Zach Ertz is overrated and why Matt Ryan is overrated. Click the links down below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a happy Halloween.